Welcome back after what is in the UK being a glorious bank holiday weekend and we've come to an extremely, come back should I say, to an extremely messy pub after a very busy weekend and a uh, eerily quiet brewery with lots of bits of rubbish lying around from last week's, you know, intense, intense brew stand build. So we're still waiting on a few bits, I'm still waiting on the sticker, uh, but, look at that. but we're going to proceed with a few jobs, maybe tomorrow with the, with the brew stand build, because it's the end of the month and we have a VAT submission to put together, so I'm going to spend a few hours on that today, in fact I've already started very tedious. Uh, a couple of things that have been delivered though today for the uh, control panel. We've got some of these stain brush stainless steel handles. So I bought these, they're basically just their kitchen, their kitchen door handles. But the idea behind them is going to be we'll put them on the uh, on the door like that. So they've got a little bit of protection from the buttons if it's bumped or knocked or nudged or anything like that. And I think they'll look pretty smart, pretty snazzy on the side. And then also we've got some smaller ones to go on the top of the uh, control panel itself. We're just waiting for we're just waiting for the heat sink to arrive, which is not here. Quite frankly, I don't know when it's coming. Slow boat from China, I think. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for these other bits to arrive and hopefully the sticker will be on site as well by then. And we can start to put all this stuff together, but that fits nicely. So a couple on the top, a couple on the bottom, and a couple on the front. I think we'll just set this panel off beautifully. They were very cheap as well. Stainless steel, brushed stainless steel handles, eBay, probably about 250 a piece. Not bad. Anyway, I'm going to go upstairs, folks. I'm going to continue with this VAT return. Just, uh, it will, no doubt, bore you to death if I start talking about it too much. So we'll just quickly gloss over the details. But we basically use QuickBooks as our accounting software and this will give you a little bit of an idea as to the kind of jizzle jazzle that we've got to go through so what we're doing basically is uh, we've got the date selected at the top here custom date so from the 1st of the 5th up until the end of July is our VAT bracket, so I just have to go down and make sure that everything has either got uh, a category assigned to it, it's in the right liability or expense category, and if there's VAT to be claimed back, like this hasn't got it claimed back, look, zero, 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 so all these eBay sellers that I've bought things off, I have to go and dig out an invoice so I can claim that VAT back, and it is quite a long and laborious process so that's what I'm gonna be on with folks for the best part of today excited face yeah look at that and I'm not joking that's not you know 10 past 7 in the morning no no that's 10 past 7 in the evening because god damn it I have literally just spent all day doing the VAT return and that's just uh, my end of it if you know what I mean uh, when the accountant comes in the week we'll probably end up spending a bit more time on the whole affair as well so I've done very very little in the shop in fact 
the only thing I did was unpack these handles for you guys uh, and I've managed to scratch the top of the control panel so you can see we've got a couple of scratchy pose but fear not because we still have a night in black satin and we'll give it another spray just to take the scratches away I shouldn't really do it <laughs> just all, you know willy nilly just in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the table like this should I should move everything out of the way really but it's kind of been one of those days that's almost becoming my catchphrase isn't it it's been one of them days so yes unfortunately I can't get anything fitted onto here until we've got the sticker but I did rejig the sticker a little bit to take into account obviously the messed up hole sizes on there and I've sent that up to Shaz and then we had an issue with emails not going up there anyway hopefully she's got that so we can move ahead with getting this done tomorrow with any luck it doesn't look all that bad now in the light of day after last week's cock up affair with you know cutting the holes too big but once that sticker's on there that won't be a problem at all we are waiting for heat sinks to go on the top and maybe one or two other little bits but literally when that sticker arrives and the heat sinks here we can get that control panel up and running and on the brew stand and the brew stands here still full of water gave it a little bit of a test over the weekend and yeah there's no leaky poos whatsoever and I tell you what she does look bloody smart every time I come and look at it I think I cannot wait to get brewing on that goddamn thing looks really good so hopefully a couple of weeks time we will be uh, a lot of people have been asking how are we going to ferment the beers produced on the small kit well initially I'm going to just do it in some 60 litre fermenters that I've got just normal brew buckets if you like I have been toying with the idea of a fermentosaurus inside a glass refrigerator but maybe that's just too fancy pants and probably doesn't need all that if I'm honest but we'll see as long as we can control the temperature of the uh, of the beer that shouldn't be a problem so we can run off the back of one of these chillers down here because it ain't gonna take a lot hook it up to an STC with a valve and run it through one of the stainless steel coils that we took out of those chillers in the first instance I think that'll be an easy solution and uh, yeah allow us to make lots and lots of different types of beer and then all of a sudden I'm not gonna have time for projects because I'm gonna be spending loads and loads of time on putting recipes together and making videos about them so every cloud has a silver lining as they say anyway folks I'm gonna wrap it up I'm gonna flick this light off I'm gonna go home I'm gonna rest my weary eyes from looking at a computer screen all day by looking at a computer screen and ed editing this vlog or I might leave the edit for tomorrow because I've got a couple of videos in backup but anyway regardless you're gonna see it when it lands on YouTube so we'll see you on the next one anyway cheers mm -hmm.